friend so welcome to or welcome back to today's vlog today we're outside and we're going to be talking about using your patio umbrellas to keep you cool now i know a lot of us got these patio umbrellas for aesthetics but if you are in a hot environment like mine like here in texas it's been triple digits sometimes in the heat of the day and you still want to enjoy your outdoor space there's a particular type of umbrella that i think would be really useful to add to your outdoor space to help keep you cool, as well as some other things like fans and so on and so much. So I've got a new cantilever umbrella for the patio. I wanna show it to you, show you how it works, talk about how I've been using it to help me continue to enjoy this space because I love being outside, but I do not like to be hot. Uh, I like to be comfortable. So if you're into that type of thing and you haven't purchased the umbrella yet and you're trying to figure out which one to get in your buying decisions, Go ahead and tune into today's video. I'm gonna give you a little tea on what I would do if I were in your position, show you how mine works so that help, hopefully I can help you make an informed decision. And then after we talk about the umbrella, we're gonna do a little chit chat because it's time for us to start lighting the space uh, completely. I'm talking about landscape lighting. I'm talking about lighting up here on the deck. I'm talking about lighting for bug repellent, all of that. And I've got my first set of lights in and I need a little help deciding on whether or not I'm gonna actually go this route or if we're gonna go in a different direction. So we'll talk about that after we talk about the umbrella. So yeah, let's hop into today's video. guys so let's talk umbrella real quick so the umbrella that i am getting ready to set up that you saw earlier in today's video is the napoli cantilever umbrella from a company called grand patio now i found grand patio over on instagram i'd seen a lot of videos with girls opening their umbrellas and i was looking for a shade option for the deck because i knew having like a pergola or something covered wasn't an option i just didn't want it uh and i will be honest that i was not always a fan of umbrellas because aesthetically wise they were just what they were and I needed something that I could open and close and not kind of block my views because y'all know how I feel about my views so I actually reached out to Grand Patio and um, was able to get them to allow us to to send us one so that we could test it out and review it for you guys and that's what you see me doing today so the umbrella that I've chosen is the cantilever style umbrella and you may see them named as like an offset umbrella in some instances and the reason why I did this is because I wanted the functionality of being able to move the umbrella back and forth so some of the things that I love about this umbrella that they highlight over on the site is that this umbrella has it can tilt up to like 90 degrees and a girl that's what I needed because our sun rises on one side of the deck and it sits on the west side baby and that west side sun ain't nothing to play with so the ability to be able to tilt the umbrella to follow the direction of the sun sold me sold me but then in addition to that you know the quality of the materials stuff like that the price point of the umbrella um I was really impressed with what I saw online. So I was like, you know what? I'm willing to try it. Let's see if we can grab one so we can review it and let the people know how it goes. So what you see me putting together here is the base of the umbrella. Now I've seen some umbrellas where this is where the base stops. And what's unique about this is that we have this base, but then we also have the ability where we put wheels on the base and then cover it up with like this really heavy duty, um, outdoor play it, it reminds me of like the basketball goals that you fill up with water it's the same concept you put the base together this base together and then you slide this other basketball style I hate to use that reference uh basketball style um base on top of this and you fill it with water which gives it a, an additional layer of support so like if it gets windy or something like that the wind won't take your umbrella away so here's the base that I'm talking about and it just simply slides over the wheels lock in place and once it's full of water I can still move this because the wheels are in place but I also have the peace of mind of knowing that it's not gonna fly off 
with the wind, which has been good. I've tested it because we have had some hot and windy days, which is crazy, right? But the instructions are super, super simple. I put it together by myself. It took me probably 20 minutes to do. It was hot, so I kept taking breaks. Um, but the instructions are as probably as simple as you're going to find instructions anywhere. It's just screwing stuff in place, following the pictures, and you are a okay. Um, you've got a lock mechanism up on the umbrella that I'll show you in just a second here and you put it up and bring it down with a rotation uh what is the word I'm looking for gosh it's a handle <laughs> that you use to push it up and pull it down and it's really simple to use it's not bad to look at and most importantly it's keeping us cool in these triple digit temperatures so I am going to allow you to watch the video uh, I filled this base with water it can hold up to 220 pounds worth of water or sand so you know it's not going anywhere I just filled it with water and you know that's the same way we filled my son's basketball goal up front and it's been working just fine I like that they give you this wrench where you can screw in um the the screws to hold the water in place so that it doesn't ev evaporate just keep up with that don't lose that because as time goes on if you need to refill it that's how you're going to be able to get those off so I'm going to finish putting it together and you'll see my initial reaction to it being put together and then once you see my initial reaction I'll come back and kind of give you a talk through on how to operate it and my thoughts on it now that we've had it in place for a couple of weeks so enjoy we'll be back in just a second Oh, and by the way, if you're new here, thanks for stopping by and watching today's video. My name is Kate Whitaker and I create home decor and exterior decor and lifestyle content here on YouTube. And I am so glad that you've made it this far in the video. I would love it if you liked today's video, if you would share it with a friend. Uh, if you like the vibes here, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. If you do so, be sure to hit the bell notification so that you never miss an upload about when we, never miss a notification about when we upload rather. And if you want to learn more about me and my family, you can connect with us. It's myself, my husband, and my four kids over on Instagram. It's kind of like the behind the scenes when I get to it. Sometimes I do like little sneak peeks of what I'm working on over on Instagram and all of the things. So yeah, thanks for stopping by the channel today. I really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. So now that you understand how the umbrella works, let me show you how I actually use it because there's a number of ways to do this. So if I were, if I wanted to cover the entire part of my table, I would dial the lock down to the left, push it all the way up and then lock it back in place before I open it. Now this scenario is not one that we widely use, because it is, well, I won't say that. We don't use it in the morning. So you'll see that it only covers, based on where I have it positioned, it only covers half of the table. And that's because we don't do a lot of morning use with this because the morning sun is not hard. But once I'm ready to open and I have it locked in place, I simply just wind my dial to the right. 
until she locks and voila we have an umbrella now as you can see where it's positioned right now even from being all the way back here by the rail we get really good coverage this is helpful this position is primarily helpful um, in the afternoon later evenings when I want to sit here because the sun goes from east to west and by the time maybe 11 12 o'clock during the day gets here this is where we really have to use it if we're all sitting out here as a family usually when I have this set up they we've got the ceiling fan under the patio that kind of spread some air and then I have another um like shop fan that we sit and kind of tuck over there and hide and we turn it on and that circulates the air outside making it much much more tolerable it's not cool but you can at least sit outside and enjoy your space and i know this guys because my kids run track it is one of the hottest sports in the world to suffer through because it's outdoors and it's a summertime sport and we have been implementing this even when we are at track practices with our overhead canopy tents and I that's the same concept that we use if we're like going outdoors and all that kind of stuff and bring it home so that we can enjoy our space so this is the most upright position which is not something that we use uh, on a regular basis because most of the time the kids are not coming out with me when it's really, really hot. But if I want to come out, do some work, I can kind of set it up like this and get away with it. Now, here I'm going to show you once it's open, this is the position that we use mostly. Um, and it's in the evening. So once I have it open, and sometimes I won't even put it to full position, I can move this to any angle that I want, like fully customizable. If I want to block out a little bit of the sun coming here, I can. Usually we'll keep it upright if Tim is grilling or something like that in the evenings. But if I really want to get some privacy and I want to stay cool, I could drop her all the way down. And this acts almost as a privacy barrier, but it also blocks out the sun. So right now you see the sun reflecting on it because the sun is that way but in the evening times this is really really helpful and it shades out the entire deck because it covers everything it's perfect so if you're going to buy an umbrella for your space you want to buy one that has this type of functionality because you want to not only be able to move it down at the base with the wheels you want to be able to adjust it in its current position to follow the sun to keep you cool so that, my friend, is your umbrella trick for the day. <laughs> now that we have talked about umbrellas, all that good stuff, uh, let's bring it back. Chat real quick. I need you guys to help me with these lights. Um, I got a couple of ideas in my head and I want to kind of sort through those and talk through those. So let's let me I'm gonna put the umbrella up real quick because I don't need it. And then we'll come back and chit chat about the lights. So let me show you how easy it is to take down. Once I'm done, I wind her in the opposite position and she starts to come on down, come on down. And that's it really. Now you could either pull her back if you wanted to. I don't. I like to just keep it hanging like this. It comes with a little black Velcro rope or a black rope with Velcro on it. I just, so she's not flying around. And that's it. We store her just like that. She sits right there for us that works because it's close to the grill and it gives us the coverage for the table. And it's kind of out of the way. Uh, that was dead space anyway. So yeah, it works. So let's chat. Let me move you real quick so you can come in a little closer and let's chat about these lights. All right, so I need a little help deciding on what I'm going to do from an out like outside lighting perspective. So my original plan, which I have here, was to do continuous lighting underneath the deck right here. So I bought some LED strips. I, I've watched 900 videos 
on how to install the LED strips, how to cut them, how to connect them, make sure they stay waterproof, all the things. And as soon as I got them, I was like, ooh, do I want continuous lighting out there or do I want solar lighting? So here's my thoughts. The continuous lighting would be the LED strips. And I got these because these are pretty cool. So they can connect to your phone. I can change the colors, which would allow me to change the ambiance. Like it would be a whole thing. Y'all know I'm a Christmas head. So once Christmas came around, I'd be able to do all the things. And I think I still like that idea, but that's just lighting around here. In addition to that, I'm gonna install some string lights. Just, well, there'll be string lights in a couple of places. So the first part, install is going to be on top of here they will be string lights and bug repellent because the way texas mosquitoes are set up but we ain't trying to get bit and since this is the area that in the evening times when the mosquitoes are out we make the most use out of i want continuous protection here when i want to do that so there'll be string lights on top of the deck area which would handle the continuous lighting under here the string lights up top but then I was like, well, do I want to do that or do I want to do solar? Now, the problem that I have with solar and solar would be the alternative to these. The problem that I have with solar is that, as you can see, some parts of the deck get full sun all day. Some parts do not. So I'm afraid and I don't want to screw like into my deck board. So all of the solar lights that I've seen I would have to screw either into the post or into the deck boards. And I don't know if I'm willing to do that. So I've been trying to figure out the reason why these are not installed because we were supposed to do lighting today is do we go ahead and do the continuous lighting? I know what to do. Is it going to be too much once we have the string lights in place or do I just do the string lights and then from the lower lighting, because the string lights will be up in the air, which will provide overhead light. But from like the area lighting, do I do solar lights where there's lights every once in a while just to create a vibe? Or do I go ahead and put the continuous light on where it's gonna be like Lum Light City out here <laughs> at night? I don't know what to do. So that's the, the debate that I've been having with myself, which is why we haven't installed any lights because I really don't know what to do, but I want to get this done within like the next week because the way this weather is set up, I'm just done. Like I quit, I quit everything. I am pulling out one of my tomato plants um, to put in another tomato. I've grown like the small tomatoes and now I want the big ones. So I'm gonna pull that one out put in one that gives me like the big juicy tomatoes because I can still do that here in Texas because we won't get cold until like November, late October. So I've got plenty of time to still grow. Um, and I quit, like I'm not doing anything else out here. Once the lights are in, I think we are set on where we need to be. We're gonna enjoy this space. We're gonna cook out. We're gonna watch football. We're gonna unwind on the weekends once school starts. Now that track season is over and that's gonna be it. We're not doing nothing else. So y'all help me. Help your girl figure out what to do. And I will look at those comments and take them into consideration for next week. Uh, on the steps, we're gonna do like patio, like the little deck lights to go down. So like the steps to go down. Uh, but yeah, that's my debate. So today's video has been fun. Go get you an umbrella friend. Like I said, this umbrella came from Grand Patio, which is a new company that I found over on Instagram. And I can speak without hesitation as far as the quality of this umbrella is concerned. It is heavy, heavy, heavy. The material is very durable. It's been through some rain. It's been through a little stuff. Um, and she looks fine. I've had her for a few weeks now. She looks fine. So. In a couple of weeks, once we have done, because I still haven't showed y'all how we've decorated out here, once we do like the full reveal, lighting, decoration, all that good stuff, we'll come back and talk more about the umbrella. But if you're struggling with heat like I am, one of these cantilever style umbrellas is going to be your best friend. So you need to go get you one so you can go back outside, girl. You ain't got to run back in the house. You just need to get some air circulating with your good fan and get you one of these styles of umbrellas so that you can enjoy your space. 
all right so i hope today's video was helpful it's been really fun chatting with you don't forget to drop down in the comments and let me know what you would do if you were in my situation as far as lighting is concerned and next week we'll come back with a definitive answer because i've got to get the string lights and stuff installed and we'll go from there thanks for tuning in as always and i'll see you in next week's video bye